Welcome to this special series of Koshi's Business Builders where we're putting small business first. Each Sunday for the next eight weeks, we'll be showcasing the success stories and bringing in the experts so that each and every small business gets access to what it needs to get back on its feet and for you to go out and support them. Plus, we've set up a digital platform built to help small businesses find new customers, save money on some great offers and get some amazing help from business experts. Let's meet our first business that's done just that. Hi, I'm Michael. I'm Paula. And we are the co-founders of Fluffy Crunch. So Fluffy Crunch is Australia's most awarded fairy floss, and what we've done is we've created a bit of a gourmet twist to a traditional carnival classic. Fluffy Crunch started as a bit of an experiment at the local markets. Um, we've been in hospitality for over 15 years, and we wanted to start our own cafe, but we didn't have any business experience. It's an events-based business. We do a lot of uh, corporate events. We've done events for Google, Atlassian, Toyota, but we also do small personalised events for families. So the thing that keeps us motivated in our business is probably our family spending time with our daughter. Um, also growing and uh, learning how to run a business, that's the exciting part. We uh, entered the Sydney Fine Food Show in 2018 and 2019. We're now Australia's most awarded, having won nine medals for our creations. Well, small business success doesn't get much sweeter than that, does it? But things have certainly changed significantly for Fluffy Crunch, which is based in Sydney Southwest. Its owner, Michael Karamalis, joins me now. Tell us what happened to your business when COVID-19 hit and we all just went into lockdown so suddenly? Well, to put it simply, uh, everything stopped. Uh, you know, with, the band of, uh, with the band of mass gatherings, our entire calendar was wiped out and uh, we had to reassess what we're gonna do, whether we're gonna close the doors, stay open or try a new strategy. Michael, what was your initial reaction as a business owner? Well, our first response was you know, anxiety, anger. Um, we didn't know what was happening. We felt like we had been uh, victimised and why why us? You know, we had worked so hard to build a business and all of a sudden we felt like we were being punished. And what did you do to adapt to the crisis? So we actually were able to move our entire business online. Um, we had already uh, created a, an online platform and we had built a website, but it was only giving us about maybe 10% of our revenue a year. and. The biggest thing was uh, transitioning our customers' buying habits to online. Tell us the outcome. Well, the outcome was amazing. Um, to be honest, we, we had about a 700% increase in our online sales through our uh, ability to engage with our customers and really ask for help. Tell me how hard it was for you to adapt your business model because you went to 100% selling online from 80% selling through events. Yeah, so the, the, probably the most challenging thing about uh, transitioning our entire business online was that uh, our capacity to scale. And we had to make that decision. Are we going to order more products? Are we going to invest? Or is this just a, uh, a one-off thing? So do you think once everything settles down, that you'll keep selling as much online? Our focus now is on building our online business. Uh, we've actually put aside, let's say, our old business model. We don't think uh, the events industry is going to come back anytime soon. Michael Karamalis, a great example of how to adapt in these circumstances. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Koshi. Thanks for having us.